Continuation once again. I now took straight by to semi border, cross immediately, and enter Kaaba to Lagos after three days of disappointment. Juju ran away with the parcel, but intervention team captured him on Thursday, December 19, 2017, in Tama, near Accra, Ghana, according to reports. On Wednesday, December 21, 2017, I was informed by GPS, GPS A track manager, Clyde in Postmania, after Special Commission had analyzed all the aspects of this delivery event that happened in Benin. That $25,000 has been approved for me as a compensatory reward by the GPS track company, and I was very happy and so grateful with the compensation reward. I was told that Connie will be responsible for the release of the whole money and parcel in Niger. And I was in contact and I was in constant communication with Connie concerning how to come to Niger and pick up the parcel and money. Since the GPS track manager Clyde in Clyde Postmania has informed me to meet Connie. After some days one of the GPS track worker link the information to Akwadi Osaze. First of all, Akwadi called Kone and told him I'm guilty of what happened to him by losing his job and why file for divorce. Mr. Kone advised me to be careful and he had my photos and knows how I look and he also have my my address. I thought Connie was joking until Akwadi Osaze himself sent a first threat message to me stating I have heard that $25,000 has been rewarded by the company and he is waiting to see how I will get the money from Nijay GPS track warehouse. He said he will mount his sorry, he said he have mount his boys all over the Niger to be watching when I will arrive, that he will cut off my head from my body and fling it to the street of Niger. I will forward the I will I will forward the message. I forwarded the message to Connor why the threat continues. Then I also forwarded the threat to Father Elefteri, the sender of the parcel, and he decided to sign another contract with Esco Korea Company. And Mr. Connor moved the parcel to Baba's house in KB State in Nigeria. Akwadi sent his men, his boys, to his boys to Niger warehouse and when they got there they had encounter with security and other people which led to killings according to reports. One of the workers from Niger warehouse linked to Akwadi Osaze that Paso have moved to Baba's house in KB State and he sent his men to Baba's house in KB State to hijack the Paso. But before they got there, the Korea man from Esco Korea Company, Mat Ego, has collected a parcel from Kone and went on his way back to Lagos. After three hours, Mat Ego informed me that he is being chased by some men with Ford pickup Niger number. The threatens continues and I received advice from Clyde to leave the house immediately until this problem is resolved. Up to now, the problem is not yet resolved and the threats kept on coming from 
Aquadis brothers, from Aquadis brother Peter in particular. Continuation for the last time. Peter is the head of the traitors nowadays. I even went to Bene again last month, Friday, 25th of May 2018, to collect the money from Fabiana Kokora. But I had another disappointment from the regional manager, Fabiana Kokora. I hope this problem will be resolved this time in Romania and close the chapter of these delicate problems that had led so that led to miserable livings. Thanks for your cooperation. Sign Reverend Eze Emmanuel. Thank you.